Hans Mayer. We are nearly done with creating our SH-101 synthesizer and pure data. We will build the last module in this penultimate tutorial, the modulator, and then look at packaging things up usefully in the next and final tutorial. As ever, create yourself a new patch and save it into your working folder. Call it modulator.pd like this. If you look at the Roland panel on the synth, you can see four options for the modulator. Triangle, square, random and noise. We will build each of these here. Note that we do not need to use anti-aliased oscillators here, so we can do these very directly. First, the triangle. We can make this via a phase or like so. The phase or ramps up to 0 a 1. We subtract 0 0.5 so that it passes through 0. We then take the absolute value, which mirrors all the negative values as positive values. Finally, we double it to put it back in the range not to 1. Note that our modulator outputs will all be unipolar, meaning they are between not and 1, rather than minus 1 to plus 1. Let's add some objects to visualize the output. First we will convert the audio signals to control it values with snapshot, and trigger it with a metro. Now add a slider to visualize the output. Set the range for not to 1. There we go. The square wave is pretty easy. We use the audio expression object just to ask if the phase or is past halfway. If it is we get 1, otherwise we get not. Use the load bank to make sure the metro automatically starts when the patch loads. We use the noise object to generate random numbers between minus 1 and 1, and then do some simple maths to get this into the right range. We want to generate random values at the same frequency as our phase or, so we use it together with a sample and HUD object. This outputs a new value at the phase or rate. We can reuse the noise directly for our fourth outlet. Now we just need a selector. Add a radio object for choosing the waveform. The selector code is almost exactly the same process that we saw in the last tutorial for selecting different envelope controls. Only we now have four different things to choose for. See if you can spot the mistake here. I should use the scaled noise for the noise input, no the raw noise, which is in the wrong range. Oh well, fuck it. I 
Add your cell in audio outlet. Then put in a slider for the rate control, varying logarithmically between around 0.01 and 30 or so. Add a control inlet and a root object for these controls and hook it up. Make yourself a fancy interface with a graph on parent function. Let's also initialize some things, like default in the triangle with a medium rate. Save the patch and go to your top level test patch. Add a modulator somewhere where you have space, and connect the send object. Connect this to both the filter and VCO patches. We still need to implement this for the VCO module and VCF filter. Let's start with the filter. Open the VCF.pd patch. We need to make sure our control range is appropriate, so change the mod slider range to something like 0.0581N, with logarithmic selected. We will get rid of the 0.05 anyway then add some smoothing data changes. For the filter, we actually want bipolar signals, between plus minus 1 instead of not the 1, so we scale this here and then scale it again with our slider before linking it to cut off frequency. Note that we are scaling relative to the current frequency O, then adding the bipolar modulation to the current cutoff frequency. Save the VCF and go back to the top level. Connect the modulation if you have not already done so. Let's try things out. about the bipolar modulator. Let's stick to unipolar.
onwards and fucking upwards my friends. Let's go to the VCO module and implement the modulation controller too. We already have modulation affecting the pulse width, but we would also like the modulation to affect the actual oscillator frequency. Let's add the final control, the modulation amount slider. and set the range to a logarithmic scale for 0 0.1820. This is actually just going to scale the frequency for one of the oscillator types, the band limited square wave oscillator. Add your cell and inlet in there and remove the 0 0.1 offset. Then we will do a bit of audio smoothing as usual. The modulation input on the other side is then scaled by our slider input and passed on as an offset to the frequency. Note that we want to scale our modulation by whatever the current frequency is before applying it, so higher frequencies will be modulated more proportionally. Save the VCO patch and go back to the app level we test. Okay, that is no working. Where the fuck is going on? Alright, yes, connect the bloody hang. Yes, there we go. If you use a very low modulation level you will get a nice fat that you and sound when combining the square oscillator with a sort of oscillator. So there we go, lots of fun to be had with modulation. Okay, in the next and final tutorial, we will wrap this all up with a fucking bone pit of cherry on top.